Okay, so first of all, I'll select the whole of the table and then go to insert and insert a scatter chart with straight lines. Then I'll do some quick formatting to this. Then select one of the lines and change the line color to gray. Then select a different line and press F4 on the keyboard. F4 is the keyboard shortcut to repeat whatever you just did. And in this case, what I just did is change the color of the line to gray. So I can select each of the lines and then press F4 to quickly change the color of all of these lines. This is the most manual method, but it might also be the best depending on what you're doing. Then I want to have one line which is a different color to make it stand out. So I will change this line color to red. Now for the second method, I'm going to take all of this data and put it into two columns. So I'll start by using the two column function and I'll demonstrate this first with just the first two lines and enter and we'll format this as percentage. Then I'll use the two col function again to select all of the years to get them into a column. Then I'll do equals and select the first cell and then double click to send that down. So I have the years repeating. Then select both of the columns and go to insert and insert another scatter chart. And now we have these two lines as the same color because they're actually really only one line. At the moment, these lines are connected by this straight line here. In order to remove that, I have to add a gap in the middle of this table. So in order to do that, I'll add another column here, which is filled with NA errors. Then I'll adjust this formula so it includes that column. And now we have a gap here and the two lines have been disconnected. I then need to adjust the years column so it lines up again. So I need to select this cell at the top and then I will drag it down to the bottom. Then select the series and I need to drag this down so it includes the extra two rows. And now I have demonstrated this with two lines. I will expand this to include all of the other lines as well. So I will make the formula cover the whole of the table. And then down here, I'll double click so the years repeat all the way down the table as well. Then I need to make a note of the row number at the bottom. So this is 144. And go back up to the top and select the series and then change this here to be 144 and also change this here as well. So I'm now plotting the whole of the table. I'll then do some quick formatting. And now it looks like we have multiple different lines on this chart, but really it's only one line which means that I can change the color of it all to gray at the same time. Now, if we want to have one line which is highlighted in a different color, we have to add that as a separate series. So I'll right click and go to select data and then add in a new series. The series name will be this cell here. The X values will be the years going along the top. The Y values will be these values here. And then OK and OK again. And now we have one line which is a different color and I can change this to red. Now for the third method, I'll select the whole of the table again and make another scatter chart. Then I'll do some quick formatting on this. 
Then I will go down to the sheet name at the bottom and right click and select view code. And this will open up the Visual Basic Editor. Then go to insert and insert a module. And in this module, I'm going to create a macro. So that's going to be sub series underscore color, open and close brackets and enter. And then for each series in active chart dot series collection series dot format dot line dot for color dot RGB equals RGB open brackets 192 192 192 close brackets then I need to put in next and now we have a for loop here which will loop through all of the series in the chart and change the line color to gray now because I have active chart here I need to select the chart before I run the macro. And selecting the chart makes it the active chart. And this means we don't have to worry about working out what the name of the chart is. Then I'll run the macro and all of the lines change to gray. Then I can select one of the lines and change the line color to red in order to make it stand out. Now, if you want to work out what numbers you need for the color, you can go to more colors and then custom and then select the color that you want here and you get the RGB numbers underneath for red, green and blue. So make a note of the numbers and then go back to the Visual Basic Editor and put the numbers in here. Now you might also have markers on the chart. If I go to chart design and change chart type, I will change this to something with markers. And then we would need to change the color of the markers as well. In order to do that, I'll copy this middle bit here and paste it underneath. And then instead of having line here, this needs to be changed to fill. Then I'll select the chart to make sure that it's the active chart and then run the macro and all of the markers change to gray. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make all of the lines the same color in a chart in Excel and that is everything.